Hey farmhouse friends, welcome back to Bloom Home and Garden. It's great to have you all back at the farmhouse with me. If you are new, my name is Kim and I love gardening and DIYs and I get to do a whole lot of both of those at our 1860s brick farmhouse. Hey, we're out here in the kitchen garden and I know so many of you have questions about square foot gardening. Today I want to share with you everything I know about square foot gardening and share with you my tips and tricks, hopefully answer some of those questions for you. I do square foot gardening here in the kitchen garden and in the other garden I do regular gardening. Which one do I like most? Which one do I prefer? Which one would I recommend? Let's jump in. So what is square foot gardening? Square foot gardening takes the concept of growing in long, narrow rows and placing plants in one square foot. I know, I was super skeptical too when I started researching it, but it's not that new of a concept. A man by the name of Mel Bartholomew retired in 1976, and it was his desire to help out his community garden and volunteer there. It didn't take him long to realize that Row planting can be really labor intensive and it wastes a lot of space when you could grow a lot more food in a lot smaller space. Mel had worked for many years as a civil engineer and an efficiency expert. So with much research, Mel determined that while you do need a whole square foot to grow a head of cabbage, you can plant up to 16 carrots in one square foot. So I'm going to show you what that looks like in my raised bed garden. In my kitchen garden, I have eight of these raised beds and they measure three feet wide and they measure five foot long. To show you how to lay out the bed, all I'm going to do is use a measuring tape, a sharpie, you can use a regular work pencil, and just a stick. Now we've had a lot of rain in the last few days and we're going to have some cool weather coming in. So I wanted to get this made for you. So if it's warm where you are, you can go ahead and get planting. My soil is a little wet and I don't like to work the soil when it's wet because working the soil when it's wet causes it to clump up and you get big clumps and that can interfere with the amount of light your plants are getting and it can interfere with the workability of the soil, making it hard and rocky as it dries out. And you definitely don't want that. But for demonstration purposes, we're good. The first step in laying out the grid that we will be planting or our planting area is to use a tape measure and just mark off one foot intervals. Now it doesn't matter how big your bed is as long as you make sure that your length and your width are exact measurements. So it could be two foot wide by four foot long or four foot wide by eight foot long. All that you need to know is that it needs to be exact. Now I've marked off all my one foot intervals and I am drawing a line from each side across. Now that I have the length lines drawn, I'm also gonna draw across. And you will see this will leave me with 15 square feet. And this is the grid I use as my visual aid to plant my squares. Now I'm going to start planting this bed with green beans and snow peas. Now I'm going to use my favorite contender bean. It is a bush bean and I can plant up to four beans per square. So I'm going to go ahead and get started planting my four beans per square and you can change up the design. You can plant two or three here and two or three there. So it's really fun and it makes it really unique. You can pick up one of these seeding squares and they are color coded by the seed and it tells you exactly how many of which seed to plant and it has this little diagram. You can totally do this on your own. You don't need this square to do that. And I, as you can see here, I don't use that. You can just figure out if you have 16 seeds or eight seeds where you need to put them within your square.
Yeah, so 88 seats in 15 square feet sounds like a lot, and it sounds like it would be very crowded and the plants will thrive, but look at this. This was last year's garden in this space, and as you can see, everything is thriving, it's beautiful. We harvested so much and preserved, I don't know, like 25 bags of beans and peas, and I can't even tell you how many green peppers. And here is the very end, after I picked carrots all season long, this was my last haul in November. So what are the pros of planting square foot gardening? For me, there are many. Because this kitchen garden is right off my porch and I always feel like if it's right here, I'm gonna use it. I can plant the things that I use every day right here and have access to them. I love nothing more than stepping off that porch and coming out here and getting some lettuce and some carrots and some cherry tomatoes and just go in and make a salad. I love doing that. Because things are planted closely, it really helps reserve the water so you don't have to water as much. Also because they grow together, it does help provide more shade and it makes it harder for weeds to grow, meaning that this garden is so simple and quick to weed. I just come out here while the dogs are using the potty and just pluck a few weeds and I hardly have to spend any time out here weeding at all. Of course, my pathways are gravel and that helps cut down on weeds as well. So this garden is truly a joy. What are the cons? There are a few cons. I did find that my tomatoes did not produce as well planted in a square foot scenario. However, I did plant my tomatoes dead center of each of my beds. And maybe that was it. Maybe they were too shaded. Maybe if they were on the corners or in the ends, that might be helpful. And I only did that one year, so I really don't have a lot of evidence. Maybe it was just an off year for tomatoes that year. And if you've been gardening for a while, you know that certain things do extremely well some years, and some years your produce doesn't do as well. The other con is if you grow perennial vegetables or perennial herbs. If you want to amend or work up the soil, having a perennial plant in the spot does make that a little difficult. Things like artichokes, sometimes depending on your climate, Brussels sprouts can overwinter. Perennial herbs like oregano and chives. I have all my herbs in a different box anyway, so they're not in with my regular vegetables. I've found a way around that. So that's my list of pros and cons. I really don't have anything bad to say about square foot gardening. Just like many of you, I was so skeptical because I've been gardening since I can even remember. I remember being four or five years old and being in the garden, and that is a long time. And we always did it the long row way. That's when you practice that kind of long spacing or over a foot between plants and three feet between rows, and that gets in your head, and it's hard to not think that way, but trust me, square foot gardening saves so much space. You can grow so much more food. If you are limited on your space, or like me, you have arthritis, you just don't want to make the long haul to the garden, this works perfectly. As I mentioned before, I do have this large, flat, spread out garden behind me. This is where I plant potatoes and corn and tomatoes and things like that. And if I have any extra like rutabagas or parsnips or carrots, things that like to overwinter in the ground, many of those you can plant extra. And if you don't get them all in in time, they get sweeter the colder they get. So I will even plant some of them out here. This still does have some benefits growing this way and of course all of those things that i just mentioned you can absolutely grow them in the square foot method as well so which gardening method do i prefer well i like to grow both ways i like lots of rows of corn and tomatoes however if i'm being perfectly honest i love the square foot gardening method i love the way it looks i love the unique designs and twists i can put on each bed i love that it's easy to weed it's easy to keep up it's right there where 
where I need it to be. This was a thank you so much for all of you following along today. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. You know the drill. Please share this video for your friends who may have square foot gardening questions. I hope this answers many of your questions. Please, if you have any more questions, go ahead, drop them in the comment section and let me know in the comments what kind of gardening do you do? What do you prefer? If you do the square foot gardening, what do you grow in your beds and what size are your beds? Let's give our community lots of things to learn and lots of options to choose from. Until next time, guys, be blessed, be safe, and I'll see you soon.